this is Catherine with Colorado Yard Care. Today I want to talk to you about winter watering your lawn. Did you know that you need to water your lawn in winter in Colorado? I know it sounds crazy, but it's one of the best ways to make sure that you have a gorgeous green lawn come springtime. The reason why is because most Colorado residents have lawns of Kentucky bluegrass. Kentucky bluegrass is best adapted to growing in climates where it gets regular water even during the winter. So even though your lawn is dormant and brown, it needs to be watered periodically. During the winter months in our state, it can be so dry that our lawns can die from just simple dehydration. Virtually any lawn will benefit from regular winter watering, but keep in mind it's especially important for lawn areas that get a lot of sun, a lot of wind, or are on a slope where the water has trouble soaking in. So when do we need to be winter watering? Well, in Colorado, we need to water one to two times per month from November to April when our sprinkler systems are turned off. Be sure to choose a warm winter day when the air temperatures are above 40 degrees Fahrenheit and the soil is not frozen. If there's snow on the ground or the soil is frozen, don't bother winter watering because the water can't soak into the ground, so you need to wait till a later time. Make sure you water at midday so that the water can soak into the soil before it freezes again at nighttime. So how should you be winter watering? Well, keep in mind that during this time the sprinkler systems are turned off, so we need to be using a hose. For large areas of lawn, you can just simply connect a hose to your spigot and then use a hose and sprinkler to water those areas. If you have a small area of lawn that you want to water, you can just simply use a hose and then connect it to a simple watering wand with a nice soft shower spray and water those smaller areas. In order to figure out how long to water, I like to put out some cups in the area that I'm watering. Then when I turn on the sprinkler, some of the water is collected by the cups and I can see how much of water I'm actually putting down. So in order to get the right amount of water, run the sprinkler long enough to collect about a half an inch to an inch deep of water on average in the cups. If the water stops soaking into the soil and starts running off the surface onto the sidewalk or into the gutter, turn off the sprinkler, wait an hour or two, and then resume watering after that period of time. You can take as many breaks as you need to let the water soak into the soil. When you're done watering, make sure you disconnect the hose from the spigot. The reason is that you don't want water to freeze in there and crack the spigot. This can cause a leak. All right, so that's what you need to know to winter water your lawn. And just keep in mind that by winter watering regularly, your lawn will have a much better chance of greening up beautifully when the warm weather of spring returns. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Hope this video has been helpful to you, and make sure you get out there and winter water your lawn.